Okay, we're doing an update video specifically for the family that sold me this Jeep. Uh, they wanted to know how it was coming along. And so here we have it. It uh, looks a lot like it did before. Um, let's see. So starting from the back of the vehicle, uh, the first thing we did was get it to run, as I showed you in my other video. The second thing we had to do was get it to stop. So I'm going to show you what we had to do there. Uh, we had to uh, work on these rear brakes. So um, here is a picture of the new brake line. We had to replace that. Uh, the old one was too corroded, and uh, you couldn't get it, couldn't get the uh, wheel cylinder out, or the brake cylinder, uh, which stops the car. Uh, same thing for the other side. So what happened was we uh, got it running, and then brake fluid was just spraying out of uh, the underside of the car and the brake pedal was would have gone all the way to the floor if I tried it. Um, so we had to limp it into the shop and get that fixed. Um, then we had to fix the rear brakes themselves. Uh, one of these, this side, was already done, uh, but I replaced everything because it was just corroded. And the other side hadn't been done at all and it needed a little bit more work. As you can see, the drum has been replaced. It's a little rusty now. Um, but it's all, all new hardware all around, um, except for the fronts. The front were okay. I got to check the pads on that. Uh, let's see. Uh, the emissions were dogging us, and so we had to replace this and all of these hoses that lead to it. And this hose here, that's part of it too. They were all, all these hoses were shot. And so the, it was, you know, the check engine light for emissions, it was getting bad fuel economy. And so we got that sorted. Uh, it's much better, but it's still, the check engine light is still on. We think there's another leak somewhere. If you follow these lines around, they go to more rubber hoses. Uh, let's see if I can get a camera angle there. Right, right in there. Why not? Let's just go. Yeah, these. These here, I think, are also culprits. And then, uh, after that, we had to figure out why the heat wasn't working. And so, uh, under here is a thermostat, and it was stuck open, so there was no heat. So I replaced that, and then I found out that now there was another problem. This radiator cap wasn't allowing the coolant to get back into the radiator and so all the coolant was pouring out of the uh, the cap over there uh, pouring out of the uh, <coughs> reservoir and so we had to fix that the next <coughs> was the power steering blew out uh, right here this this is all nice and shiny as opposed to the rest of the engine so we had to replace this and I replace that we had to get this off and yeah, there you can see it was leaking down there um, and so that's a new high pressure uh, hose for the power steering once that was done we had working power steering um, then uh, the wheels and tires uh, in the last video they were very rusty and corroded now they look fabulous I think it was the wheels and tires that really made this Jeep look awesome and those came from Kevin who's watching me film um, let's see there's still some issues here as you can see with the roof we got a lot of rust that's from snow sitting on it for so long and we're just gonna respray the roof you know whatever we do will look better than that and then that'll be corrosion free and there's a little spot on the door we can deal with um, but it runs drives good uh, it almost gets good fuel economy uh, 275 miles to a tank which isn't bad for mixed city highway driving. My son stickered it up. Ugh. But otherwise, looks good. Runs good. Um, came in real handy many times when one, when the starter on my minivan went. I had to drive this as my daily for a while, and that's how we found out about the ongoing brake issues. Um, the uh, brake, it's like a, a piston inside the drum. On both sides, they, they just failed. They blew out and more fluid, so we had to replace all that. 
and I don't think I'm missing anything. Got heat, got steering. Um, the rear springs, it's sitting a little low. Those are gonna have to go and re be replaced with new ones. Um, but that's it, everybody loves it. And it's coming, like I said, real handy when one of our other vehicles needed work. Um, we could always depend on this. It would at least get us there. I mean, I remember I even drove it to work one day when, when the brakes were still an issue. And just, you know, I'm not going far, so I limped it along. Uh, the first thing we had to do was fix the battery. Uh, the battery had to be replaced. Oh, and then this headlight um, wouldn't light up all the way. It was dim. It turns out it was a bad ground. We bypassed the wiring harness that's in there. You can't see it with the battery in place. Uh, we bypassed the wiring harness and got a, a better ground to the headlight, and now it works just fine. So I hope this video wasn't disappointing because I didn't go for a fun drive, but uh, I don't have time. i got to feed the dogs and eat dinner. I just got home from work. So I hope you enjoyed the update. Um, it is a work in progress. Uh, still needs a lot of cleaning and TLC. Um, oh yes, the radiator itself started leaking. That was another thing I forgot to mention. So we put in some bars leaks. It's a product that stops leaky radiators, but you have to do it in the summertime because you can't turn your heater on because if you clog the heater core in this car, you got to remove the dash. So you can't use the heat when you have that stuff in there until it's done its job and settled and circulated through the, the radiator so that there's nothing left to clog your heater core. That's like a $50 part, but a $2,000 job. I would not look forward to that. So that's the update. We're still working on stuff and it's, it's all good. So, okay, thanks for watching. I hope that, uh, you know, was enough for now. Uh, I'll get a driving one in soon. Okay, bye.